For the next 20 days, I'm finally gonna build Nahida, the Dendro Archon. But there's a twist. Well, it's not a major twist. I'm just gonna add Nilu into the equation. Pretty amazing, huh? Nilu? Where's the lamb sauce? Nilu's the second 5-star character I got after Ayaka, and I'll say she's also the reason why I'm playing Genshin right now. Not knowing she's gonna be powerful, I decided to take Genshin seriously, hoping to collect as much primos before her banner comes. And well, I guess we can call this history. I soon got Nihida as well at a very early pity, but since I was only doing quests, I honestly did not know that these two are a part of the Ultimate Bloom team. Now that Nahida and Nilo are both having a rerun very soon, I think this challenge of building characters for 20 days is the perfect time to construct one of the best Bloom teams in the game. With that said, let's get this challenge started, shall we? Before we start, let's see what we are working with. Nahida is sitting comfortably at level 80. For Nilo, however, she is struggling a little bit at level 65. Since I am very F2P, Nahida will be using Sacrificial Fragments as her weapon because we need to stack a lot of EM. She's currently running a deep wood set with an EM sense, but the goblet, however, yeah. It's kind of brought me back when I had the hydro damage goblet I'm riding. <laughs> Listen, once I got 4 deep wood and 4 gilded, I never went back to the domain because my Yai Nahida back then was kinda goaded until I did the abyss. Being FTP, we are at C0 with 166 downs. Now for Nilo, she has nothing, what literally nothing. There's literally no sword that has HP as a main stat. Not even a 3 star. A 3 star! A free to play one! So she's stuck with a double bleed for now. The artifacts as well because I had a total of like 2 Tenasi pieces and they're all kinda balls. Down levels are at 154, however, so at least I have a little bit to work with. And that's the day one stat. I can only think of one way to showcase the damage and that is the dreadful abyss. Oh no. don't like the lights. Let's talk about our Nilu Bloom team. To maximize Nilu's potential, we are going for double Hydro, double Dendro. And the only characters I got to fill those two other roles are Lumine and Barbara. Yaya should have been the other Dendro character, but since I'm only allowed to build Nahida and Nilu, I'll settle with these two for the showcase since they are already kinda leveled up. For these two specifically, I put my only deep wood set on Lumine and my only gilded set on Nahida. For Nilu, I just put on some random sets that had HP as a main set and she ended up with a two-piece Wanderer and a two-piece Shiminawa. She's gonna run the uh, Tokabu Shigure as her weapon for now and she's at 33,000 HP with 225 EM. For Barbara Bra, she's just gonna run a random 4-piece maiden set and I know it might be level 1 but I believe in the power of the Hydro Archon Barbara Bra. Midnight bro! Following the painful abyss testing, we can finally go back to the open world and start our journey. After finishing up our commissions for the day, I went straight to Nilo's Ascension materials. Before we go forward, tell me I'm not the only one that uses this onion looking motherfucker to go to the drink. Cause apparently, there's another way without activating Mr. Onion and you just have to simply walk? I think I'll play this game more. Anyways, we claimed our bounty and went straight to the Thunder Cube to get materials for Nahida. We went back to the drink afterwards and that's all of our resin this morning. The hours have passed and we got more resin to use. We finally unlocked Skyrim's weekly boss fight just for this challenge, but sadly didn't drop the right material. The Leland's event was still going so we did that 3 times and used our 20 resin for one cheeky artifact run. And well, this happened. Hey, that's pretty good. The last substat was defense but I still believe it can be amazing. I fed up my level 16 artifact and... Alright, time for day two, baby. I think this is the optimal combo for this, right? So Nahida, Nahida, Ian, ult, then Barbara, bro, do something, and then Traveler, ult or something if I have it. Bent, boom, and then, and then, and then, and then, boom, and then Barbara, ah! I just watched your Arika video? Yeah, run. I'm actually glad I get to use Traveler now. Tra Traveler is so underrated, the old Dendro. We don't talk about Geo or Electro. <laughs> just run, bro. Okay, listen. Everyone's welcome in chat, right? Everyone's nice here. You can say hi, and then people will be nice to you. Not to me, though. Fuck. Yo! Wait, we might actually get to run deep with Nilu. What? Oh, fuck it. Barbara's getting benched when Kokomi comes out. Kokomi, Daya! Oh! 
Wait, hold on. If you want the roll, let's roll, baby. Ain't no way it goes defense, right? It's not bad. Watch, watch, watch. Literally, last on crit damage. <laughs> Dory cosplay one. What was forehead bigger than shell? Okay. Talking to the moon. I'm sorry, I should shut up, huh? I swear to you, I am a chill and comfy streamer and also kind of relatable. So don't be afraid to say hi and join us at twitch.tv forward slash Farble Sensei. After a bad artifact run, I had more resin later in the evening and just kind of used it on Nilo's ascension materials. And of course, ending the day with a godly defense <laughs> artifact. Nahida and Nilo reruns are here and I have a total of four pulls ready for their weapon. <laughs> The next question is also here and tell me why the fuck is in the desert again. Anyways, we have finally finished up our Nilu to level 70 out of 80, so we did Nahida's Ascension materials. While waiting for the cube to respawn, I also wished on their banner even though I already have both of them and had a guarantee. Well, I wanted Kuki and Layla Khan, so having seven wishes to my name. Thankfully, I didn't get Dory and got my C6 Layla instead. Nice. Hi YouTube, this is, uh, I forgot what it's called. The main reviewers. Let me pause the video real quick. I would like to put all the funny moments in this segment, but this entire vote in particular was a whole fucking hour. Maybe because could have been the fact that it was go up and none of us had good damage. We have no damage, man. Who the fuck is dealing a hundred damage? At least. <laughs> or is it because the fact that my teammates were trolling the whole time? Can we get a team ready? Why do we have no well? Why the fuck do we have Amber in our team? Okay, put it shut the fuck up. Or maybe it's because someone kept dying and leaving for some reason. I died. What the fuck declined? Hello? A teammate has left the main. Can we stop leaving the fucking domain? So I'll just shorten everything out and just show the good stuff. I'm really lucky on this domain though. Ooh. Okay, HP. Okay. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> Oh, fuck, shut the fuck. Do we really need this though? I guess it, it has God substance. Never mind. All right, maybe, maybe because it was a bad luck. We'll see. If you get EMPs, because he's getting bad for, for 30 seconds. <laughs> oh, okay. This is the piece, baby. Mm, not bad, not bad, not bad. I actually need HP. Boom. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> okay. Okay, maybe not everything goes to fucking HP though. Day 5 was literally all about essential materials. We almost have 160 resin today, and all of it will be primarily used for Nahida. While waiting for the queue to respawn, we did some more bounties as well for our battle pass quest. After using 120 resin for the cube and as well as crafting our green gems, we have finally achieved max ascension for our dendro archon. We then used the rest of the resin for Nilo's ascension and pretty much called it a day. There's not much happened on day 6 because we just kinda did 2 weeklies and collected more essential materials for Nilu. But for day 7, however, it's gonna be a little bit special since I'm gonna do what majority of the Genshin community he likes farming artifacts right okay okay i may be unlucky on the artifacts but something tells me today is gonna be a lucky day so oh no why are we fucking waiting please i want your weapon so badly come on come home he come home oh please 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 that scared me i'm not gonna lie that scared me Ah, no. uh, At least we have Nahida's weapon. <laughs> So sad about what happened yesterday, I kept on wishing on the weapon banner whenever I had the chance to maybe, just maybe, get super lucky. In the meantime, we farmed some mushrooms as well for our talents and some Doritos as well for Nahida's weapon. Thankfully, we maxed out Nilo's Ascension today, so we leveled up her talents to at least level 6. Nilo's the type of character that doesn't necessarily need talent levels, so we won't be focusing as much, so we will save as much Mora and Resin as possible for other essentials. We are still looking for a set for Nilu, and I decided to go for the new 2-piece Furukasha set and a 2-piece Millilith. After today's run, I ended up with a decent flower with hp percentage and crit rate and even though the last subset was er i still continued by fitting it with my level 90 flower and we ended up with some decent rolls to the hp percent substat the piece itself looks scopium but remember we just need a lot of hp and some em for nilu for day 10 and 11 we only focused on completing nilu's artifacts i started off with the Burkasha domain and finally got a feather with an hp percent substat the last stat was surprisingly flat hp and the next rolls went to crit damage defense and hp percentage <laughs> Lucky. Now that we are finished with the new set, we move on to the middle of the main. After a few runs, we got ourselves our first HP middle of piece, but we're just not gonna talk about the rolls. I might have to farm a bit more. Maybe not defense. 
<laughs> Bro, I don't care about any fucking thumbs up, but really, really defense? I don't achieve them. You go to fucking defense. And literally, the next round, we got our second HP bullet piece. And it was a damn good one. Sadly, I can't level her up right now, so we just shot Timmy's birds. Yeah, I don't know why. I used the rest of the resin on Nahida's artifact to me and got a potential gilded flower. But as we got a little bit more artifacts, I leveled up the circlet we got earlier to level 12. Ooh, double. Nice. Oh, wait, wait. Wait a minute. Good amount of HP there. Good amount of HP there as well. Double HP on that one. And then this one, well, it does not fly true, but it's fine. And then HP on this. I can probably find a better one. And then boom. Hey, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. It's only level 80, 81 as well. So we'll probably get like 47, 48,000. While editing the whole video, I realized that every time I start off a lucky on stream, for example, my artifact luck at the start of day 12. Alright, first artifact, baby. EM, Gilded or Deepwood, and then, and then, crit, crit, crit damage, because my Nahida needs a lot of help. EM. Ooh, could be good. If it rolls EM. Ooh, EM. Fuck. <laughs> okay, well. Alright, crit damage. Literally, this is the perfect piece. Ah, it's, it's, it's not bad. It actually went to EM. Okay, do I feed this? Oh, fuck. It either goes to EM or crit rate. Or maybe energy recharge. No, it goes to defense, right? Fuck it. Send it. I have a thousand EM, but like the curry curry is just fucking horrible. I tend to believe that it was a sacrifice today, and then we get super lucky afterwards. And well, I guess it's time to find out if that theory is actually true. Time to whale. If you want to whale, let's whale. Oh, this shit hurts, fam. Come on, needless weapon, please come home. You know what? We're sacrificing Dory. Dory, I'm sorry, but we have to. We need the sacrifice to bring home needless weapon. We got good luck by sacrificing Dory. Surely we get the good luck again today, right? Surely we get it again today, right? I'm sorry, Dory, but sacrifices need to be made. Boom! And then, and then, and then, and then. Boom! Five star! Five star! Oh! Yeah, check out Father, please! He just swap over here. Fuck. Oh, no. He was swapping. That's the last one, isn't it? Key. Oh, this is the last one. Key. Ah! No. No, please. I don't need this shit, man. Another sacrifice for another early, please. There's literally one more. And to make it a lot worse, since I don't normally wish on the weapon banner, I didn't know that the guaranteed weapon with the path doesn't carry out for the next banner. Wait, it doesn't carry? What? No way! Um, mm. Why? Why the fuck does it not transfer, bro? I guess it kind of makes sense that it doesn't transfer, huh? I have become a whale. Why? Why, why did I do this? Oh, shit. Well, at least we got it. We got it. Ah, this hurts. This really fucking hurts, bro. Hey! What the fuck? All right, this is it. This is... Okay, clip this shit right now, then show it to me when I try to wail. This is the last time we're gonna wail. Fuck wailing, bro. After yet another painful wishing session, we finally got Nilo's weapon. I got it to level 70 yesterday, but since the domain is closed for today, thankfully, Nahida's weapon domain is open. While we farm town books, if you're still watching to this minute, I would like to ask you guys to hit that like and subscribe button. As you guys can probably tell by watching my other content, it takes me a lot of time to make these type of videos, and a simple click of a button will help out my channel a lot. So if you come back regularly or plan to watch my future videos you might as well right after using two condensed resin i now have to farm yet another stupid material and that is the goddamn doritos it's literally like the handguards all over again man why why i just farmed whatever the book team told me and thankfully got nahida's weapon to level 80 i then farm scars weekly later that evening and condense the rest for another big artifact day tomorrow the big artifact day has arrived however we still had the same bad luck as the previous days and then we we got emps here emps okay huh? streamer luck still doesn't exist for me all good we we spent like fucking 300 dollars on needle's weapon for an r1 r1 key and we're still getting shit luck on the uh, artifact domain could be good uh, uh. For what I thought was another bad artifact day, this piece comes out of nowhere. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Wait, it's actually good. What the fuck? Please don't be defense. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Since I don't have much artifacts to feed and I probably won't use it in this challenge, I decided to level up my Gilded Flower instead for Nahida. 
Boom. <laughs> I do not care what you tell me. You cannot convince me that this place is level 16. So sick with farming artifacts, I decided to go for the guaranteed upgrade. I started off with Needle's weapon for day 15 and pretty much using all of our resin on the domain. I sadly was only missing one more gold talisman to fully max out our weapon. And of course, those Doritos looking motherfuckers. Thankfully, the next day, the domain was once again open, so I got the remaining materials needed. I also did a little farming session of the Radiant Prisms, and this is how much I got after two days. You see what I mean? Okay. Calm down, calm down. It's not that bad. Anyways, I can finally max out our weapon and our Nilo is now sitting comfortably at 60,000 HP. I put my attention now to Nahida. I loved her elemental skill up to level 7 and went straight to the deep with the main. And of course, the luck has not changed at all. There's three days left for the challenge and today is Nahida Weapon Book Day. I spent most of my resin on the domain and thankfully we just have enough resin to spare. I then used the rest of the resin for one more weekly and actually got what we needed for Nahida. Another day, another artifact day, but this time it was a little bit different. We actually got lucky. Oh, oh okay, okay. Bro, at least once, man. It's a double by HP. Great. Oh, yes. Okay, it's actually usable. Well, that lucky feeling ended in about 30 seconds. Oh, nice. Our artifact luck continued until day 19 and got even worse pieces. EM. What the fuck is this? I was at a point where any piece would work, so I just kept on leveling up any potential candidates. Honestly, it's still very good. It's not copium. It's, it's still very good. Oh! Oh, <laughs> it's defense. Okay, if it goes EM, it's good, right? Okay, see, it's still W. Why oh, is this so bad? Wait, is that way? What the fuck? Wait, this could actually be good. Watch this, watch this. If it goes crit rate, uh, crit damage, EM only, this is a big W piece. Okay, that's your pug. Yo! Hey, that's good. The final day has arrived. I finally got enough Dorito drops to finally max out Nahida's weapon. Since it's the last day, it's also time to get her to level 90. I've ascended her elemental skill as well to level 8 and used one dream solvent to level up her elemental burst to level 7. But I encountered my first problem. I don't have enough more. I did whatever I can to get as much more as possible, but it was only enough to get my Nilu to level 87. I've never seen such a low more account. So I just used my condensed resin to farm more Lee lines, and alas, my Nilu is also level 90. The last day would not be complete without one last artifact run. I used two of my fragile resin and as well as three condensed. But even at the last day, we still had the worst luck ever. To make it a lot worse, I did have enough more again, so I had to buy the battle pass so I can level up my artifacts. But then and I realized I didn't have enough artifacts to get my last piece to level 20. Wow, what a, what a goddamn journey, isn't it? Well, at least I used the leftover Mora for Nahida's elemental skill to level 9. Now it's time we actually see how much our characters have really improved. Let's start with Nilu. She's level 90 and ended up with her signature weapon. She's running a two-piece Vorkasha set and a two-piece Melif. The pieces are mostly focused on HP because she scales off it, and I get a few elemental bans here as well from her weapon passive. And of course, C0 cuts I am F to P. <laughs> the talents are at 166, and this is her final stats. Now for Nahida, she is also level 90 and ended up with her signature weapon. She actually has two artifact sets that focuses a lot on elemental mastery. The first set is deep wood and will most likely be used if I don't have another dendro character that can use it. The second set is gilded and vice versa will be used if I have a character that can use deep wood. Her talents are at 197 and this is her final stats.
And uh, I think that's it. That pretty much concludes our 20 days of building these two characters. I honestly had no expectations that I would deal as much as, you know, the damage that I'm capable of right now. I think my highest ones was 40k, was averaging like 40k per bloom. I, th I think I think that's pretty good, right? I'm not, I'm not sure because I don't usually play bloom teams. So I don't know the exact damage for it. But I hopefully, hopefully that's good enough. I hope the, the editing was not super scuffed at the end there because uh, I lucky rushed this again because it's now 3.42 a.m. Uh, in my time, I just finished editing the whole thing. I still have to edit the thumbnail. But other than that, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did enjoy, please leave a like, subscribe as all. Well. And then I'm sorry again for like a very late, a very late upload, I would say. It's been almost a month and a week or something that I haven't uploaded. I've been going through a little bit too much, but yeah, I don't want to get like too detailed into it. <laughs> but if you want some extra content me, like I said, I, I stream sometimes on Twitch, so come follow me there. Other than that, hopefully you have an amazing day, amazing night, wherever you're from. And uh, yeah, I will continue to post videos for sure, but it would be, uh, I'm still a little bit busy for the past or for the next few weeks. So hopefully soon I get to upload more. I have a lot of plans ready. So hopefully you guys will, will stay with me, I guess. <laughs> I guess I guess that's it. Thank you again for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.